Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Teresa and today I wanted to film my favorite modern classy perfumes But uh, before I jump in, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel um, That would uh, help me out a lot. Um, so yeah, uh, today I wanted to share my like I think like modern classy perfumes um, You know, it's not like the typical Coco Mademoiselle like those are like the typical classy perfumes I feel like when it comes to perfumes like the notes are like shifting in a little bit of a different direction the last like year or so so I wanted to uh, share some with you so um, let me just start off with um, they're in like no particular order I'm just gonna grab the first one so the first one I wanted to share is uh, from Victor and Rolf and this is flower balm nectar and actually funny uh, enough that uh, I won this on uh, fragrance net you know when you on it on Instagram they have like a weekly uh, giveaway or you, like you type in the perfume that you want and I got that one which was like I was super excited because I never win anything I got my notes ready this time because sometimes I feel like I'm just not prepared enough so um Victor and Raw flower balm uh, as you all know the original uh, Flower Bomb is an absolute classic. It's been around for 15 years or something like that. And it's just a classic. Uh, so this one came out in... I'm cheating a little bit, so I'm looking at my phone. This one came out in 2018, so it's not like new, new. But it's definitely not your typical, like, um, you know, average sweet perfume. Yes, it is, but then it has the gunpowder in there, which... Um... It gives it a little bit of a metallic taste, um, if that makes sense, I don't really know how to describe it, but yeah, it gives it a little bit of a metallic taste. It's super, super sweet. It has vanilla in there, it has tonka bean, patchouli, um, osmanthus, jasmine. Um, it's pretty long lasting. I think this is longer lasting than the original flower bomb. I know everyone says the original flower bomb is like super long lasting beast mode but I cannot agree with that. Like I'll never smell it on anyone um, and I never smell it on myself either. So that one is definitely, is this like an intense version? I don't know. Yeah, actually it is. It says auto perfume intense. Hmm, okay. Good to know. So yeah, that one is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb Nectar. So the next one is from um, Chapel Gautier. This is La Belle. I'm pretty sure everyone is tired of seeing this one. But to me, this is a very, this is very extremely modern to me. Uh, I'm gonna smell so good after this video. <gasps> oh, the spray on this one is just so good. Honestly, I was not like when I smelled this the very first time I blind bought this which I don't recommend doing because you'll be stuck with a bunch of perfumes You can't get rid of like me um, I was not the biggest fan of this one to be honest with you. It's nice, but to me, it's nothing like special um, At least it wasn't at the beginning, but then I was like something weird about it and the notes were never really listed on Fragrantica like it was always just pear vanilla and something else and then they finally after like a year or so they finally listed there's letter in there and sometimes letter doesn't always agree with me like I don't know it makes it like it just smells a little bit animalic I'm just not the biggest fan of that so um the longevity on that one is moderate, I would say. Um, I definitely overspray. I feel like I haven't even used that one that much. It's nice. It's definitely perfect for this time of the year. It's very, like, syrupy. I think so. Pretty heavy. Um, where is it? So you have pear, bergamot, you have leather, vanilla, vetiver, amber. Um, and they also came out with the intense version. Uh, I got to smell it a couple of weeks ago when I was in Austria and um, I prefer the original to be honest with you. I, I definitely prefer the original one. I don't need that one in my collection which I'm so happy about because I don't need one. So yeah, that was uh, La Belle. I don't think I mentioned, did I mention the longevity on that one? I think I did. I think, uh, I think I just said it's long lasting. Um, you don't want to overspray this one, it can get nauseating, uh, but I, I would say around 6 hours with that one, and that one if you overspray, unfortunately, around 3 to 4 hours. 
So the next one is from Amani and this is Amani My Way. And I feel like when I pull out the perfumes that I think have like a modern twist to it, uh, I feel like the color is starting to change on it. I hate when perfumes do that. I don't know if it shows on camera and I feel like the lighting is getting really awkward in here now. And my necklace is starting to fall off because I didn't close it properly in the back. <laughs> um, so yeah. I'm just reveling right now. But this is Amani My Way. It just came out in 2020. They already came out with an intense version, which is, I feel like, a trend that perfumes come out with an intense version nowadays, which uh, intense version doesn't always mean, like, it's more intense, like, longer lasting. It just, I don't know. It's just, I don't know what to do. It's just a different, it's a flanker. That's what it is. But this is, um, this was definitely not a love. It's first sniff. I sprayed it earlier. And, oh my god. It is so good, but it has a little bit of the cat pee smell in it. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, this is so good, but they smell like cat pee. But it's the tuberose. The tuberose, it's a gobble, gobble? It's a bubble gummy tuberose. It's very sweet. Um, I smelled the intense version. And it, my stomach immediately, like, like this, I cannot overspray it. I cannot wear it in the heat heat because I get nauseous from that one. Um... But that one, um, it's a typical white floral. Um, let me look at the notes. So you have orange blossom, bergamot, you have tuberose, uh, and then you have Indian jasmine, you have uh, vanilla, you have Virginian cedar. So it's, it's your very, very classy, typical white floral. But this is definitely, definitely a compliment getter. And... Um, to give it a chance if you didn't like it the first time give it a chance again because this is what happened to me and now I absolutely love it but yeah this is Amani my way definitely a very modern white floral and I want to get my hands on the Shimoshi L'Entredit I think I think this is also like a tuberose and I'm starting kind of like to like tuberose so the next one is um from Amani again and this is Amani C um Intense. This one came out uh, beginning of this year. Amani C has been around for a couple of years now, but this one is just it, also uh, perfect for fall. Um, I need to do like a fall video next. Um, but this one, oh, I love the Amani C. It's just like it's my favorite, like favorite perfume. It's just this one is so rich and so thick and syrupy and super long lasting, super long lasting. Definitely a compliment getting perfume. And this one is like fruity, amber, warm, spicy. You have black currant syrup in there. You have the Turkish rose. You have the Vanna. I have no idea what that is. You have benzoin and patchouli. Uh, sometimes benzoin is not like my fit, most favorite note, but in this one it does not bother me at all. And it's just so gorgeous, I love this one. I can't wait to wear it because it's been so hot, I couldn't wear it. Um, as you can see, I barely put like a, I think I used it only two times since I had it. Um, but I cannot wait and the bottle is so pretty with like the gold rim down here. So yes, this is Amani C and you get run eight hours. like. The two times I've worn it, like, it was pretty long-lasting. Okay, so, but I'm gonna save the best for last. This one is um, from Galan. This one is Mon Galan Intense, and I actually hauled this one not too long ago. And this one is just so, so good. So good. I wish the longevity would be better on this one. It's like your vanilla, uh, lavender. It's very... I gotta hear my boy out there every time I'm filming. Um, let me look up the notes. Oh my god, I don't have the notes ready. I had all the notes ready, but I didn't have the notes ready. I am so sorry. Mongolan Intense. Okay, so Mongolan Intense. So you have lavender, mandarin, orange, bergamot, and you have Tahitian vanilla, Madagascan vanilla, iris, which gives it a little bit of that powderiness. You have um jasmine rose patchouli licorice you get a little bit of that licorice you have benzoin you have sandalwood white musk and coumarin i think that's what it called it looks like tonka bean which i thought there was tonka bean in there but it's coumarin no idea what coumarin smells like but if you've ever smelled longalan you just 
like this is just the intense version which doesn't last that long <laughs> but if you have never smelled Mon Galan please smell it it's so classy it's so modern and absolutely like gorgeous so the next one I have is from uh, Lancome I think I have only that's the only Lancome I have so this is the uh, oh my god it's dusty um, this is uh, the original Lancome Idol and I've only had it for less than a month and I've put a huge dent in it and honestly like I know this is really weird but I don't want to smell it right now because I'm trying to create a scent memory this is what I got when I was on vacation and I'm gonna wait a couple of weeks and then I smell it so it takes me back you know how what perfume does it takes you back um, so I'm not gonna smell it right now but I'm gonna go over the notes so um, I don't like the intense version from the adult um the aurora the new one i've tried um i need to try it again it didn't really impress me which the first time i smelled this one it didn't really impress me either but i love it now so you have pear bergamot turkish rose rose de mai indian jasmine white musk and vanilla and this is a very very classy typical white floor rose perfume but not an old lady rose perfume like this has like it's sweet, but it's florally, it's rose, it's really, really gorgeous. I think like a 20 year old woman can wear this and a 60 year old woman can wear this. I mean, any, you know, anybody can wear anything, but this one is perfect in my opinion for all uh, age, age ranges. So uh, I definitely recommend that one. And I also think this is all year around. This is definitely a great gift for Christmas or a birthday. Um, for I don't know anybody so this is Lancome it all and with pretty much all Lancome perfumes um, the longevity is pretty good I would say around six to eight hours and I feel like I'm losing my voice so I have two left so the next one is from Dolce & Gabbana and this is the only one intense and oh my god for a very long time this used to be my favorite perfume I still absolutely love this and this smells a lot like the Amani, the private line Amani Malachite or something like that. I know one of them smells like very tuberosy. Is it Malachite or something else? I think it's in the red bottle. It smells very much like it. I got to smell it at the airport, the, the Amani, the private line. Um, and that one is like a white floral. It has jasmine in there. It has coconut in there. It's extremely long lasting. Um, this is actually an intense one that does last very long and it's a compliment getter for sure. It's modern. I would say it's timeless. Like you can definitely wear this all year around. I think this is great for winter and summer because it has more like a dry coconut in there. Um, so let me quickly look at the notes for you guys. I hope it makes sense. Sometimes I feel like I'm terrible at describing perfumes. So you have Neroli Green Apple, which a lot of people say they get the green apple. I don't get any green apple. Then you got Italian Mandarin, Jasmine, Coconut, Orange Blossom, Vanilla, Cashmere Wood, and Cedar. So yeah, definitely recommend that one. And this one is very hard to find. Like I've never seen it anywhere in stores here in the United States. I've seen it in Europe. Um, but here in the United States, you can get it only online. Um, I got a really good deal on that one. This is a tester bottle. I got this from Fragrance X a couple of months, well, at the beginning of the year, I think. I got it for like $36 for the big bottle, which was a super, super great deal. But yeah, unfortunately, I've never seen it anywhere in stores, which really sucks. All right. Whew, I'm losing my voice. Last but not least, we have YSL Libre Intense. Oh my god, I love this perfume. Um, so funny enough, I got the original and I bought it, bought it from eBay and it was a fake. It was a fake, you guys. I was so disappointed. Like, I got the money back, thank god. They didn't ask me to send anything back. But I know it's a fake, like, it's 100% a fake. But I, I still want to get the original and I want to get the eau de toilette because I'm just a hoarder like that. I absolutely love this perfume. I 
been using it quite a lot i know it doesn't really show because you don't really need a lot of this one oh it smells like a really expensive dryer sheet it's so good so good super long lasting let me pull the notes for you guys so we have libra intense you have vanilla mandarin orange bergamot did i say vanilla i meant lavender and then in the middle you have lavender again and then you have orange blossom jasmine orchid vanilla tonka bean ambergris and vetiver so this is definitely i know i didn't say that in any like kind of order but this is definitely definitely a very modern modern like floral perfume very modern classic floral perfume i absolutely recommend uh for you to check this one out like when it comes to like modern i think that those two in my opinion are like when it comes to designer in a pretty much no just about designer perfumes to be honest with you um those are definitely in my opinion great great modern uh perfume so definitely check these out if you want to get something you know new so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i feel like i was kind of all over the place and sometimes i'm kind of running out of ideas because you know i love watching perfume videos but then i'm like oh my god he's talking about the same perfume again and the same perfume again like oh i want to see something new but then you know i don't i don't always want to see like niche because like niche is so freaking expensive like i mean who i mean i know the people who can't afford it but who who wants to spend three hundred dollars on a perfume like every other week like i don't want to spend my money like that um as much as i love perfume but that's a lot of money so sometimes i feel like i'm running out of ideas and sometimes i feel like people are not as interested in talking about the same perfumes over and over again um sometimes i'm thinking about changing like the niche that i want to talk about on my youtube channel but i know most of my subscribers come for the uh, perfume videos so i don't know i'm just rambling right now um yeah thanks for watching uh yet again please make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i hope you have a great day and i will see you next time